everybody. It's me, Elise, I'm gonna do my skin makeup tutorial. Starting with my face wash, Aveeno Positively Radiant Brightening Cleanser. And I follow that up with my Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. After I put that on, I always put on my husband's lip balm, the Jack Black Grapefruit and Ginger Lip Balm. It's awesome, they should make it for women. Um, after that, uh, I start with my primer, and I'm using the NYX Honey Do Me Up uh, Skin Serum and Primer. Uh, I love this stuff, kind of slimy consistency, but it all absorbs into the skin, making it feel awesome, and it has little gold flecks in it. The only con is uh, keep it off of your eyes because it causes your eyelash glue to not work. It will make your eyelashes lift. I guess the consistency is just not in its favor. So I just smear it all over my face and I rub it in with my hands. Um, I use my hands a lot. I just feel like uh, it gets it all over my face better and um, it has more of a flawless finish um, without it being a little too heavy. So after I do that, I go into my uh, favorite, favorite, favorite thing, uh, my Gleam by Melanie Mills. Now this was something I saw in a Sandra Deluxe video and she used it the exact same way and I'm addicted to her, I'm addicted to it. It is in rose gold, it's a body radiance uh, makeup and it is just like this shiny, uh, bronzer that you put all over your face and it kind of just blurs any of the imperfections in your skin so that when you put your foundation over the top of it it's just beautiful and it kind of gives this like luminous uh, bronzy golden shine without it looking oily or too overdone these are a lot of steps I know but those layers are what create that awesome awesome finish see Shiny, you can see it on my hands as well. Just a little bit of sparkle. I love it. You can never be too bronze. Make sure to do your ears and neck. Okay, so next up is my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 355 Coconut. It is the matte poreless finish. They have um, a dewy smooth finish, but uh, I like to control the dewiness because dewy can get oily really 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 fast so I really like to do the matte um, so that I can make it as shiny as I want and it won't increase over time now the makeup I'm using is very warm um, it's darker than uh, my face is because my face is lighter than the rest of my body so uh, yeah it's a little bit dark but I'm also going to be using a highlighter uh, concealer and so uh, it will even out the colors you want to make sure that um, your foundation, if anything, is maybe half a step under what your natural skin tone is, then lighter because it can, it can make your skin look ashy. Uh, here I'm putting on a second layer. I like my makeup heavy. If you don't, you don't have to do that. Um, I just like the finish of it. Uh, again, I'm a performer as well, so when I do makeup, I do it, uh, for the stage. Go into your hairline, guys, so you don't have a mask. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is use my Neutrogena uh, Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I'm gonna clean my hands off. Um, I get these from Target, they're my favorite. They get off everything, uh, waterproof. It's just, I haven't found anything that works better and it doesn't burn your eyes. So the concealer I'm using is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45. Uh, it's about half a shade lighter than my skin tone. Now when we're doing highlights we really want to make sure that we understand what our skin undertones are. Are you cool undertone? Are you a neutral undertone? Are you warm? You want to know what it is so that not only are you getting the shade but you're getting it with the undertones that uh, work best so that your skin doesn't look ashy especially for women of color. Um, I'm really warm uh, so I, uh, well, kind of warm neutral, um, and I kind of go for the more yellowy orange colors. Um, again, I'm making sure that it's just a little bit lighter than my skin, so it's not a harsh, 
um, highlight. I want it to be a really smooth transition to just kind of look like the light is hitting me in the perfect way. Uh, I'm also going to go down my nose and I'm going to go up onto my forehead kind of in a fan, just kind of fan upward. Um, from there I'm going to go underneath my septum, do my cupid's bow. Um, I like to do this because the shadow of my nose creates a little mustache there and uh, sometimes when I want to wear a dark lip you know you want to make sure the outline is highlighted. So I'm going to go in with my blending ball and my NYX matte finish setting spray to dampen it. Um, you can use your sponge dry but I always find that everything blends better when I wet it. Um, I used to wet it with just water which is totally fine but why not use the setting spray? Then that's another step that uh, really makes sure that that makeup you know stays on your face all day uh, and doesn't move. So I use the end of it just to kind of tap 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 stipple it into my skin. Um, again, I kind of want to create this ombre where the light kind of fades into the dark. Um, you don't want any harsh lines. You just want to buff all of that out. Um, I'm going in with the other pointed end to go under my eye and to get into the corners of my eye. And again, just kind of tap, 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 stippling it into my skin. And again, using the end to kind of uh, get the bottom part so that it blends into my cheeks really nicely. So when you're contouring the whole object is to create light on your face that is flattering to you. So the highlight is what is going to stand out and the contour is the darker shade that you're going to use to create the shadows. This is like you know the magic part. So back to it we're going to use Ben Nye's Banana Powder uh, to set everything that I highlighted. Now you want to make sure that you are only putting your setting powder on the places that you want highlighted. Now it looks very 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 white um, and that is because I'm packing on a lot. Now what we're going to be doing next is the baking process where we leave the setting powder on our face heavily on purpose so that it kind of seeps into the highlighted areas. When you remove it, the uh, excess powder, it looks wonderful. It will not look too harsh or anything at all. I promise you, don't worry. Um, so again, you just um, I'm using another blending uh, sponge ball and uh, just dipping the tip into it and pressing it underneath my eye uh, on the bridge of my nose and forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. I like to press it in again, uh, go back over everything so that I can make sure it's really in there. And then you move on to the next step. And again, guys, excuse me, my nose is so stopped up because I'm sick, but hey, let's keep going. So I like to clean it up because again, wherever you put the powder, it's going to be lighter. So I try to go in and kind of clean it off my nose in places where I don't want it to be highlight it so that it's just where I want it to be. So now I'm going to go into my contour. I'm using the Shea Moisture uh, Wet Dry Powder. Um, you can get it from Target and it's in Melindy Sable. Uh, I love this color. It's super warm, has lots of red in it. Um, kind of reminds me of a mahogany uh, type color. Super love it for my contour. It blends in really, really well. It's such a fine powder. Um, and I go into the hollows of my cheeks. That's why I'm making that lovely fishy face uh, to find where my cheek naturally goes in. I go across the top of my hairline and on the other side. So just kind of suck your cheeks in and see where it bends in naturally. Um, we want to kind of cast a shadow here to chisel out our... Uh, cheekbones and kind of slim our face down. I'm also continuing that on the bottom of my chin to make my double chin disappear. The magic's in the makeup, guys. Amazing things that it does. So then again on the other side and I just drag it all the way down to give myself a nice little chin lift. I don't know what you call it. 
So now I'm gonna go and take off the excess banana powder, go in and brush it off with just any kind of loose powder brush. Um, all the brushes that I'm using I got from CoastalScents.com. Super cheap, they're having lots of yummy Christmas specials, so look into that. Wipe it off from under the eyes, and boom, there you have it. So I go back in with my contour powder, and just to kind of clean everything up now that the powder is out of the way, I go back over it, making sure that everything is blended really nicely. I go down onto the temples of my brows a little bit lower, um, and I go in, check my cheeks one more time, go into the bottom, make sure that that's all taken care of, just kind of to smooth it out. I'm going to use a eyeshadow brush to do my nose contour. I go up into my eyebrows. Um, I When I look at shadows naturally, um, your eyebrows go down onto your nose, so I thought I would create that look um, instead of it being just um, a straight line. I curve it down and I do the tip of my nose just like that, clean it up. And then what you wanna do is go in with your stippling brush that you use to contour and smooth out those lines. You can use your fingers as well. I like to use both. I like to brush it and then smudge it into my eyebrows and back down. Go ahead and check back in with everything. And I'm gonna go in with a bigger brush now and pick up a little bit more of the contour powder. And I'm using the bigger brush just so I can blend it out even more. I want to create a really kind of blended shadow look. I don't want any lines at all. I just, I blend and blend and blend and blend and blend. See that shadow there? That's what you want to create. Boom. So now I'm going to use my setting spray and I'm going to spray all over my face all over, all over, uh, and let that dry. Um, I use the setting spray a lot. That's why my makeup lasts all day. Um, it's basically like hairspray for your face. It keeps everything in place and I love it. Now time to do my brows. I have a very specific way that I do my brows. Um, I don't do any kind of, you know, fading tricks or anything like that. Um, I like to do little feather-like strokes and leave them kind of bushy and crazy. I think that's kind of a part of who I am. I'm using the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Chocolate with an angled liner brush. Um, and I just dip it into, just kind of like dip the ends and then I wipe it off so that it's a fine point. Um, and I'm doing that because I'm going to create uh, hair-like strokes uh, in my eyebrows and that's kind of how I do it. I'm using a little compact mirror just so I can see better. But yeah, I just kind of create those strokes and I go all the way across my eyebrow um, kind of emphasizing the arch and just letting it end where it does naturally. Um, I go underneath and kind of even it out um, and then go back across over the top. I use a very, very small amount of product um, I really like the idea of building. Um, you can always add, and but it's always harder to take away. So use a little bit of product and you can build and build and build and smudge and build. Um, I really like uh, things that are seamless, things that are uh, things that look kind of unintentional, um, you know, like no real effort. Um, and I think that's why I, I stray away from the... Uh, angled uh, brows um, and, and I think a part of it has to do with the fact that I also know there is absolutely no way that I'll ever get them to match. I'm As you can see here I'm trying to get these two to match as it is. Um, so yeah just go in with your angled brush and just fill in your brows where you see fit and get them to uh, look like a family. Um, eyebrows should be considered sisters, um, not twins, because they do. They grow a little bit differently, and, and that's okay. So you want them to look similar, but they don't have to look um, exact, so don't stress yourself. And go. I, I like to go back in with the brush, because the pomade's kind of like a wax. I like to go back in and brush all the hairs in one direction. 
Um, I now I'm using the Wonder Pen or the Wonder Pencil actually from NYX uh, in the darkest shade. Uh, and I'm going underneath my brows just to kind of clean it up. Um, I don't use the highlight over the top of my brows because it just kind of gives it that floating eyebrow look. So I just like to go underneath and um, I use my concealer brush because it has a little bit of concealer left and I just blend it out that way and I do the same on the other eye and uh, sometimes I'll use my fingers as well to smudge it out just really kind of make it look nice. Okay, last but not least, my two favorite parts, blush and highlighting illuminating powder. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Baked Blush in Ignite Passion, and I'm gonna use an angled blush brush and smile to find the cherries, to find the tops, not the cherries, excuse me, the apples of my cheeks right on top, and go up in a C-shaped motion into my hairline just because when I blush naturally, it goes that high. It's not little circles on my cheek. Kind of sweep it over. Now, my favorite. Sonia Kashuk. I get this from Target. It is in the color Goddess. It is the, ooh, amazing. Gold, bronzy awesomeness. Um, it is like microfibers, and it's so, so pigmented. I use it all over my face. I'm going to be putting it in my highlighted areas, so my nose, my forehead. Um, I'm gonna put it at the tops of my cheeks and on my cupid's bow and my chin as well. Boom, boom. And I like to put a lot there too because I like when that's shiny, when I have a shiny cupid's bow. Now, most people stop here, but no, <laughs> I need to be shinier. So now I'm going to use the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Peach Nectar Illuminating Powder with my fan brush. And I'm going to go over it and brighten it up even more, you guys. This, I think I have a problem. I'm, I'm just addicted to shining. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, all over the face. Make it look awesome. And then I am going to use the setting spray one last time for good measure all over my face and I'm going to fan it dry. And that is my skin routine. That's how I do my skin. Um, the next video that I'm gonna do is for eyeshadow and lips. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys.